Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups. From point guard to center, this game should be a good one. Well, we might be in for a low scoring game here with two defensive minded teams facing off. Well, every basket is gonna be hard fought in this one. So yeah, maybe expect some low production on the offensive end. But that doesn't mean these players aren't working hard out there. Great defense demands your best offense. But it's one thing that's going to be really interesting to me, who can maintain their intensity? Because playing terrific D can be exhausting. Now here's Mabry. Pass to Smith. Copper. Now Williams. The shot off that time. To the right side. And stolen by Smith. Chopper outside. Inside. Pass to Mabry. Smith. Chopper left side. Nailed from three point land. If you let Chopper get comfy, get time, and get set. She'll just continue to bury these shots. Back to Lloyd. And here's Magbagor. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Pass to Smith. Copper. Outside, Williams. Copper outside. Clock at six. Smith outside. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the sky from deep. It's easy to see Copper's phenomenal fundamentals. When she sees a wide open shooter, she makes sure they get the ball. Magbador, she's guarded by Williams. Russell with the bucket. Man, they have got to put a body on her because otherwise, with her agility and athleticism, they're just not going to be able to contain her on the offensive class. Now here's Smith. Copper outside. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. What a shot by Copper. The degree of difficulty, very high. Pass to Magbagor. To the paint. Her shot is good, making her a perfect two for two from the floor. Sharp pass to set up the very high percentage shot in close. Copper outside. Now Williams, defended by Magbagor. Left side Williams. Outside Williams. Goes up on the stripe. Outside Evans. Mabry. That's in for her first basket of the game after three attempts. Mixing it up inside. Mabry might be under six feet, but her toughness showing there. Man, it's so nice. We got to see it twice. How about that mobile one drive? A just tremendous intensity going downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. They get the rebound. Chicago trailing here. Evans with it. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Whitcomb with the steal. Now here's Turner. Pass to Russell. To the inside. Nurse. And she converts the layup. What a luxury to have bigs capable of these kinds of passes. Russell is growing as a playmaker. Now here's Evans. Not a lot of room. She gets it in there. She knew what she wanted to do all along. The teardrop. 
Outside Whitcomb over Mabry. Here's Russell, and it's good. But hold on. The officials may want to take another look at it on the replay mod. The previous play is under review. are going to review the play. The question, did she get the basket off in time? Yeah, and I'll be pretty honest. It looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. The ball was out of her hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a... After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the storm. They lead by four. And we've got more exciting basketball action coming your The first quarter in the books, second about to get underway. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? The work they've done to get in close offensively, the difference right now. And I like that they aren't settling for outside shots. Just keep attacking the rim. Very aggressive. Outside Evans. Pass to Williams. Outside Williams. Kune, the kick out to Williams. And it's Courtney Williams again missing. Now Turner. Makes it off the glass. That's what I call a captivating move right there. She absolutely incinerated the defense with that one. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Back to Williams. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. No fear, Williams is normally the smallest player on the floor, but she can operate down low with her toughness. A Courtney Williams, one of the toughest players in the league, standing 5'8". She's excellent on the board, arguably the best rebounding guard in the league. Outside Evans. Second quarter here, and just over a minute and a half played. Get alive. Here's Williams. Foul called that time on the way up, and that will give her two chances at the free throw. A very difficult matchup. Williams is 6-3 with elite athleticism. Can cause opponents to foul. And Courtney Williams led the league in minutes in 2021 with an Atlanta team that missed the playoffs. Williams was not just leading the league in minutes, but she was also leading the league in field goal attempts, competing incredibly hard no matter the situation. Pass to Garantes. Lloyd up top. Six on the shot clock. And here's Holmes. From deep. The rebound by Courtney Williams. Copper outside. Now here's Williams, defended by Turner. Here's Smith in the lane. Here's Evans. Smith outside. Pass to Williams. Copper. the glass to finish the layup. What hustle from Copper there. I love when she throws herself on the glass and keeps plays alive. Russell inside. She's guarded by Williams. And that one drops for her. Good ball movement. She put that pass in the ideal spot, and I can guarantee you her teammate appreciated it. Pass to Copper. From deep, again, the miss by Kalia Copper. And the storm with possession. And no good. And Chicago will come the other way. 
On the wing, Dana Evans. Pass to Mabry. Six to shoot. Copper. Over Nurse. Again, the miss by Kalia Copper. To the paint. That's in. It's her fifth field goal, and she's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. The sky trail. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Williams the screen. And the ball out of play. The Storm will have it. Both teams deciding to change it up. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Russell, covered by Smith. And she drops it in from the low post. Well, it's tough trying to match up with Russell, guys, especially when she's established inside and looking to score. Outside, Mabry. Shoots over Whitcomb, and the basket by Mabry. Seattle. They've got a nine-point lead. Here's Russell. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. Defended by Nurse. Pass to Kone. Outside Mabry. Shot clock at six. Here's Evans. And the foul called on Smith. That'll be her second foul of the game. First team foul. And it's the Storm with the ball. They lead by 11. The largest margin of the game. Outside Whitcomb. Nurse. Storm, another three. You can't just let a player like Kia Nurse get comfortable because she shoots it well on catch and shoots. Outside Mabry. She can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And we've reached halftime in this one. Storm out in front, leading by 14. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Long-range option, capable of knocking down from deep. Pass to Magdagore. Turner, she's guarded by Williams. Turner with the ball. Williams there. From downtown. It's hauled in by Smith. On offense, here the sky. 17 point game. Outside, Williams. Copper. Williams, defended by Turner. And down it goes, two points. Well, this is where she makes her money, in the paint. Williams can score many different ways down low. To the paint, here's Turner. And she uses the glass on the layup. Nice pass, she got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. Pass to Smith. Now here's Williams. The layup is good. The defense cannot forget about her like that. If you do, she will light you up. After the 2021 season, which was Jewel Lloyd's seventh year in the league, Lloyd was named first team all WNBA for the first time in her career. And so it's Chicago with it. Down by 15. On the wing, Courtney Williams. A baseline J. Another shot. 
Williams can't get it to go. And she doesn't miss many of those, uh, especially with the defender not in the best of positions. Pass to Nurse. Turner. And the three off target. And for Lloyd, that first team selection was a long time coming. Well, Jewel has been a great player in this league for a very long time, a key part of title teams in Seattle. So it was great to see her get that uh, first team nod, the respect she deserves. And there's a whistle. That goes on Turner. That's her first foul. Timeout called the Sky. Timeout Sky. Now here's Evans. Whitcomb defending. It's tipped. Here's Williams. Storm with the rebound. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Turner. She can't get that one to fall. Looks like she used up all her makes in the last quarter because nothing is going her way since the horn. To the middle, here's Kune. Count it, good. She draws so much attention. Williams can find others for easy buckets. Good dish. Inside, here's Magvagor. Great D that time from Elizabeth Williams. Outside, Williams. Williams inside, defended by Magdegor. And Williams gets it to go. Well, to be a forward in the WNBA, you have to score against good D. Williams up to the task. Pass to Turner. Whitcomb with it. And here's Turner. She's guarded by Williams. Just five to shoot. Shot to end the cold run. And it's Turner missing. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at that end of the court. And there's a whistle. That goes on Turner. That's foul number two for her. Way to get there first and absorb the contact. Yeah, clearly no flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Pass to Kone. Here's Williams. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. It goes on Ezzy Magbagor. And she hasn't capitalized on her chances at the line, only making one free throw. Well, we know the WNBA playoffs are just one bracket. There's no distinction between West and East. And I love that setup. Some years there's clearly a better conference. And in a lot of recent years, the West has been way stronger than the East. Absolutely. You want the best two teams in the finals, regardless of conference. And with this WNBA playoff system, we get that every year. Here's Williams. Misses off the left iron. Some of the shots she's taken today have been absolute head scratchers. She's out there playing like it's a game of horse, and it's not. Pass to Turner. Outside Whitcomb. And here's Turner. Off target from outside. Well, most games she can hit from deep, but this game, it's not there for her. And they pick up two. <laughs> Love the pass from Evans. Has a strong feel for when to dish it. Seattle with the ball. Ten-point lead. Pass to Magbagor. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Really, that's her strong suit. The ability to find a way through the D and finish at the rim. Four seconds separating the shot and game box. Outside, Williams. Here's Kune. The offensive rebound. And no good trying to use the glass. Here's 
Turner. Ah, no good on the last second attempt there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult. Now here's Mabry. Smith outside. Pass to Copper. Here's Williams. Now Copper. The tray. Now Smith. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Storm. Storm ball. Pass to Magvagor. Chuck up two right there. Well, we've seen her do it. We know Magvagor can hit jumpers, but she's at her best right around the hoop. Here's Williams. Offensive rebound. Shots good by Smith. She was the first one to react to that miss. I mean, that's just a hustle play on the putback. Now here's Turner. She's guarded by Williams. Pass to Turner. The three knocks down the three ball. Good vision from Kia Nurse. So she's able to spot a wide open shooter and then set them up accordingly. Now Williams. Beyond the arc. Magmagor grabs the miss. Well, it's not a bad look for her on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be her night. And look, everyone has those. Turner with the bucket. How's that for a move? Her crossover is a thing of beauty. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Copper outside. Six to shoot. The kick out to Williams. That's tipped. Here's Lloyd. Pass to Magvagor. And here's Turner. Out to Lloyd. The three is up. And the storm, another three. I love when Lloyd takes these quick shots because she doesn't give the defense any time to react. Copper with the ball. Defended by Nurse. And here's Turner. Nurse, left side. Pass to Turner. Russell, covered by Smith. Hits it and gets hacked. That's a three-point play opportunity. And one finishes are about creativity. And Russell shows she can find ways to convert. And the Storm making a change here. Each trip down becoming more important. Yeah, they need to string together some successful offensive possessions and play tough D. Good on the shot. Pulling the strings, Evans thriving in the pick and roll. Over to the left wing. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Kalia Copper. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Expanding her range. And it's Dana Evans with the triple. This run really not doing them any good coming as late as it has. Yeah, but give them credit for showing the fight they're showing, Tim. It would have been really easy to just throw in the towel by now. Yeah, but it's still gonna be a loss probably. Pass to Russell. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Tough to contain Russell around the rim. She has the size and frame to bother opponents. Two shots. Second free throw, no good. So Seattle takes this one by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says an awful lot about this team. Yeah, Blake, I guess they don't need home cooking, like, you know, you're cooking from your mom, to feel at home. Just a masterful performance all around for them.
That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone. 